shaky camera, lots of caffeine. Welcome to Drawing with Lord Carnage. This is a giant blank template here, 17 by 11. This is the cover for a book I'm putting out in April called Retro Mega Treks, which is going to be a good chunk of my collected work from 1995 to 2015, spanning 20 years, including a lot of stuff that was published way back when, my old college strip, my my work that was uh, slated for syndication back in the uh, late 90s, and uh, I'm actually going to be adding a new, uh, ten, I'm putting 10 pages of brand new material in there where I'm going to mash up all of my characters into one. I actually wrote this silly little story last night. Uh, which just turned turned up turned out pretty nice, I think. They've all got good personalities, so that's uh, that's what counts the most when when writing characters. And for some of them, it took me many years to figure out what their personalities are, but that's uh, pretty well established at this point. And it was actually really fun to go back to some of the old ones and uh, mix them up with my new characters. So, anyway, let's split the page here a little bit. I drew the sketch on iPad. I'm now working in Photoshop on my Wacom. And from left to right here, spanning 20 years of characters, we have Hunter Skywolf and Haley Davenworth and the Magnum 9000 helicopter from Magnum Skywolf, which is coming out in August. We have Sally and Roy from my comic strip Mass Media from 1998 which uh, almost went to syndication but uh, while the art while the art's pretty good and I'm putting it in the book and I think there's some good ideas in there I did not do a good job with character development because it's the only one of these comic strips that doesn't focus on beer drinking and violence which is apparently the only things I can write so uh, and that's why Roy is being eaten by the space tentacle eyeball monster and, uh, of course, Hunter Skywolf, who loves disco martinis, is toasting the Space Tentacle Eyeball Monster. And uh, Sally's on a 1990s cell phone. It's actually fun to go back to these comics from the 90s because the, uh, all the tech that I drew is, is ancient. Uh, the characters themselves don't look all that much different, but like the hairstyles and whatnot. But, the, but like the phones, are, it's hilarious. Anyway, uh, and I'll have Space Gar here. This is the uh, Sword of Oceans from Wind Squid. That's Errol. Over here we have Squid Trex from Wind uh, Squid and Ethel the Cyborg Ninja. Cosmic Death Brick, obviously. Um, this is Vectronics 9000 from Ethel the Cyborg Ninja. That's Brother Shabazz and Bolfar from Bolfar Hero of the Ninth Moon, which was uh, which is the oldest uh, comic book comic work in this collection from 1995. Uh, pretty good stuff, actually. Uh, at least I think so. He's, he's a, uh, he's a, he's, he has the powers, he has powers of the gods, uh, wears a Hawaiian t-shirt, and the two of them travel in a custom van to find Funky Town, which of course I'm going to have to change that title, so d disregard that. Forget that I said that. Uh, and here is Wind Squid, Edit Station 1, one of the Happy Dancing Kegs from Planet X-40. That's from my college strip there, Captain College. Lord Carnage, Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, that's Bolfar. And, of course, crowd favorite, Jesus the Coked Up Chicken. So, I'm going to dive into this with some more refined pens today. I expect this one to take me some time to draw. And it will be the cover. The uh, ten-page story, mashing them all up is uh, is a good time because uh, Cosmic Death Brick is messing around with the space-time continuum and somehow manages to invite them all into one room together. Let's start with Lord Carnage. Um, a lot of people have asked, "Where's Lord Carnage, Book Two? Uh, it's in my head at the moment. Actually, um, while I'm on this panel, a lot of the events that formed the plot of Lord Carnage Two took place in Ethel. Too, which I'm writing now. And I actually broke this one writing log jam I had while putting together the second book of Ethel, which just literally opened up everything. Uh, so now it's just Lord Carnage book two is just in the lineup behind a couple other things. Uh, because he, uh, 
he sort of leaves the universe as we know. You'll, you'll see. It's, it's good stuff. But it ties in with Ethel Book, too. All right, let's drop the opacity there. I've been doing uh, photo work all day. And uh, truth be told, I'm actually kind of tired of doing detail work. So I might take a break and go do some uh, actual writing and sketch work here. I'm doing all drawing today, and then tomorrow I'm getting back to video. See, I just tried to use the my hand again as the iPad. Um, it's uh, 4.15 right now. I'm definitely a little tired to be doing serious detail work, but I'm going to uh, make a bit of progress here and then for for fun break ground on uh, the mashup part of the book. It's getting there. Over here we've got uh, Captain College who is interesting <laughs> reading those comics from the mid 90s was like reading something written by someone else since i'm not at all like that anymore <laughs> in the foreground we've got you know who at station one I draw the antenna in there i think i draw at station one the most of any of these him or jesus so i probably do those with my eyes shut at this point And again, thank you to everyone who uh, picked up Ethel Book 1 on Amazon. It's uh, done better than I expected. Thank you. The second one will uh, not disappoint. Whoops. Hey, there's the dog. See, she agrees. Save that, and uh, let me go dive into uh, that spread, which I think you'll, which will give you an idea of what the the, the new ten pages are going to look like. So, again, Retro Megatrex is going to have a ten page mashup of all this. Wind Squid Zero from 2014, uh, I guess what was called Disco Eight Track Number Zero, but really it was the Edit tra Edit Station One backstory, uh, the original concept, which I changed a bit, so that's why it's out of um, out of continuity. I'm putting it in this with the with, with the description of that, but uh, it is going in. Uh, it's, that's like 30, 30 pages. Um, Bullfar from 95, Mass Media from 98, Captain College from 96 to 98, Wind Squid 2008, Wind Squid 2012. And I know I'm missing something. Oh, I had a second comic book written for Captain College also, which I never published anywhere. Which turns out to be pretty funny. Where they fight the PC Thought Police. Here's one of my old Bullfars from uh, 1995. Here's a Wind Squid from uh, the 2012... In I'll talk about this in the book more, but in 2012 I wanted to uh, bring Wind Squid back as a comic... There's the old Edit Station 1, with no trackball. Uh, but I really didn't have the uh, entire universe created until I, until now. And uh, it's, it's so much fun to write Cosmic Death Brick. <laughs> He's one of my favorites by far. Uh, and he, he just gets even better in Ethel Book, too. He, he basically steals that... Steal, well, no, no, it, there, there's a whole lot going on in that book. But he's really good in that one. So Cosmic Death Brick is... I'm going to put a whole bunch of effects in there. Messing around with the... Uh, Space-time continuum, I have not done spell checking or anything, so there could be errors. He inadvertently tore a hole in the fabric of reality. <laughs> ah! And gets sucked into it. And that is where the uh, rest of the fun takes place. As I mash up 20 years of my comics. And, um... It, it, it should be a good laugh. So, Retro Megatrex. Follow me on Amazon as an author, Mark Bussler. And they will al alert you to when my stuff gets published there. That'll be April. How to Make a Video Game Review Show That Doesn't Suck is March. Jesus 2 is May. I'm not sure what June is just yet. It may be Lord Carnage Book 1 Special Edition. 
Uh, July is the Ultra Massive Video Game Console Guide. And August is Magnum Skywolf. I love the I love that he's whistling. And all the way from 1996 or 7 here, we have um, Mortal Pongbat with the happy dancing kegs. It's good to see that I was, uh, you know, busy studying. I lied. I spent a few more minutes drawing. I wanted to finish some more of these lines here. And um, this is uh, coming along nicely. I never, ever expected to... Um, to see these two flanked by old characters from 20 years ago, but there it is. And uh, still got quite a ways to go, as you can see. Alright, see you next time. Follow me on Amazon. Or else Lord Carnage will be displeased, and he will scowl at you. Classic Game Room is brought to you by Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, Book 1, and Jesus the Coked Up Chicken Number 1, Special Edition, now on Amazon. Welcome to the Lord Carnage Club being shouted from within. A Turbo Volcano! Starting with Andy and Abby Schleiss. <laughs> Jeff Breyer. <laughs> Derek Langley. <laughs> Michael and Ariana Nelson. <laughs> Benjamin Woodring. Benjamin Woodring. Stephen Chucknick. Stephen Chucknick. Al Stever. Al Stever. Ian Shore. You sure are awesome. Jason Goy. Sergio Matthias Hergert. Chip Sink Bell. Busy Signal. Sean Zoltek. Rick DeBarros. Rick DeBarros. Philip Straubenmuller. Jack Stavris. Ohad Kane. And Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva from Porto. Portugal. Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva from Porto, Portugal.